How are the mother and daughter footsteps? So cute. Look at my amazing friend that brought the windshield scraper so that I could survive the best. Just look at the snow. This is nuts. I'm gagging. Still got my joint though. Alright Vegas, this is all the merch that's left for tomorrow, so be sure you come and see me at Laganja's Dance School, the last one on my tour before North Hollywood to round us off. That's amazing. Don't judge my life High decisions. Heels. Okay, no it's not what I want. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Just trying to live my life. You know I had to scoop up my first heady pendant. What? How's the honeycomb? And how's the mug tonight? Did you get a special treat? Did you get a special treat? What is it? What is it, Muffin? Not our titties off! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, God, honey, welcome back. I am your hostess with the most of smoke, Miss Laganja Astranja, and today's special guest is the one, the only, Mrs. Grant Vanderbilt. Say no. Not our titties off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Laganja, you're really joking. Yes, God, honey, welcome back. I am your hostess with the most of smoke, Miss Laganja Astranja, and today's special guest is the one, the only, Mrs. Grant Vanderbilt. Say no. <laughs> 
Baby, I want y'all to know I am Miss Kennedy Davenport today, okay? Get up into the stones, mom. I'm about to do the whole face. We stand a personalized bus. You know, the fireball of the party. Oh, good. Oh, it's freehand. Where's Valentina? Ooh, the dolls are ready. And how gorge are the flowers? Get into the glitter detail, sweetie. Yeah, obviously this was a very sweet gift. So thank you so much. I'm also super impressed with this gift from Frederico. He designed this t-shirt himself. It's obviously everything. And then how's the little side gift? Yes, come through with the ganja. But I gotta say my favorite gift of the whole night is from my friend Natalia who created this incredible piece of artwork that I saw on Twitter, and then she uh, cross-stitched it for me. So I'm just so excited to have this amazing token of love. She likes... <laughs> what was that again? No. You're kidding. Just a sea of baggage, Mary. Just look at us all. And we just never yeah. escape it. Brandon Voss, I love you. Thank you so much for flying me first class with the full pull-out seat. I love you.
I'm sorry, but there's nothing better than coming home to a room full of Versace. That's right. Work hard and you too can get what you want and deserve. Okay. So Natch, when I got home after sleeping 12 hours, I said, let's work. And I decided to organize my drag room. But honestly, nothing makes me happier than just being organized and knowing everything is in place. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I'm here with Michael and Yum. we are at the 7-Eleven in Monterey, Mexico. So 7-Elevens are pretty much just like 7-Elevens in America. Yeah. Except that their, their packs of Skittles are tiny. Hey Michael! Yeah! <laughs> Look at all this candy that my fans have given me. I don't know why they keep giving me all this candy, but it is pretty cool to see candies from different countries and how they differ from the ours in America. Oh, wow. One and turn. Oh, yes. I think we got it.
What are you doing, silly cat? Turkey. Oh, I see how it is. Okay, work, Diva. So, apparently, Turkey is really afraid of men and hides from them, but not me. Um, I don't want to say this cat misgendered me. Turkey, why are you misgendering me, silly cat? Because he had Uncle Layla. Turkey,
drunken, broken down, flaccid undertaker who is just as gentle on the waist as his clients are. Hey, I might have more fun with one of your clients. At least I know I'd be getting something stiff in there. That geek is a total freak show. <laughs> about it thank you houston scandalo nightclub fabrizio presents fabrizio presents bye houston oh, Tammy Brown, Tammy Brown, Tammy Brown. Why are you always repeating things? Because I'm selling things and I want to make sure you're listening. Would you like to purchase this facial wipe? It's from last night from here in Fresno, California. Okay, folks. Hashtag poor celebrity. Her flight got canceled because of the weather. Or should I say heinous? Heinous, yeah. 
I have to stay here in Fresno overnight. Entonces, soy la Tamara Cafe? Sí. I'm freaking out. ¿Por qué? Tammy Brown. Sí, la Tamara Cafe. <laughs> ¿Es quién? Tammy Brown. Awesome. And Impeccable the, Spanish. Y, y la cantina está abierta. Yes. Hello? All right, darlings, look what I have. I still have some t-shirts left. I have some smalls, uh-huh. And I have one extra, extra, uh, uh, sharp, trying to say extra large here with the yellow neon sleeves. So, like I was saying, I have an extra large, yeah, slurry talk here, but extra large, yellow, a neon yellow. And then I have a ton of these size medium here. So if you're a medium and would like a tan brown t-shirt, message me. I still have some of these facial wipes from my Californian adventure. That's right. If you'd like to order one of these beautiful Tammy Brown facial wipes, it's all about the business, and I got business for you here right now. All right, look what we have, ladies and gentlemen. Look what we have. We have some size smalls left, and then we have, oops, whoa, <laughs> whoa, a size medium and green left. Whoa, yeah, so we have one pink sleeve and small. We have two smalls in blue, uh huh, two, that's dos, and Spanish. And then we have three, tres, and small orange. I want to say thank you all for helping me out um, by buying these tan brown t shirts. You're helping me provide for new wigs, all human hair, better for the environment. See, here's a pink dolphin from Brazil, Boto. Let's get this roast to cooking. <laughs> Can we please put our hands together for the one, the only, Michelle Visage, Jizz Breath. <laughs> They're the real star of the
Gorgine. Wow. It was worth the drive. Okay, so, oh, I spilled coffee on myself today. Ignore that. Look at that. I missed my mouth completely. Anyway, um, I've completed a sleeve. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Ooh. So this will more or less sit like that. Ooh. Look how, oh my God, that is just so gorgeous. Is it so soft and like flowy? It's like there's no, no weight to it at all. <gasps> Ooh. And I also have some embellishing to do. I've got a little jewels that go on the um, on the seam, and um, some diamantes for the pedals. But um, I'm very, very much enjoying that. Imagine the whole dress made of that. Oh, it's gonna be gorgeous. Mm. It's so good. I do also have this, which would be absolutely perfect. Hold on. Absolutely perfect here underneath that. But I only got one because um, it was meant to be on the back. But I'm gonna have long hair and everything and I just realized it's gonna get all tangled so I'm not gonna use it on the back. But I just ordered another one from, from AliExpress, but it, you know, I'm always concerned with um, how long things take. Um, I did get Express shipping. Um, and it says it'll take up to 16 days, which, which will just leave me a couple of days before Mardi Gras. So I think I'm just going to complete it and then if they come, I'll add them. Okay, I'm working at Fag Tag this afternoon. My showtime is at 6 o'clock. I have to be there at 5, so it's 3, 8 now. If I start getting ready at 3.30, I've got an hour to do my makeup and then half an hour to get there. <sighs> 20 minutes to lay down. Okay, let's see how long this takes me. And I'm done. All right. Comical share face done. Oh. Oh, so, my share outfit was made in 2005 when I was very skinny. So, I'm literally <laughs> exhausted trying to pour myself into it. Oh. <laughs> Mind you, it was made in the days we didn't wear padding and now I've got padding. It's like it's very hard to go up, but I'll get there. I'll have lots of rolls at the top though, but oh well. Oh. And also there's um, no mirror in the dressing room. So I'm having to use my camera on my phone as a mirror. But that's fine, you know. You gotta do these things when uh, when you have to. 
I'm not a prima donna anymore. I'm not a diva. I used to be. Thank God it's not 2006, otherwise someone would have been killed. Well, that was a really... Well, that was a show. Well, was it a show? It was just some man in a dress standing on a podium dancing around. Oh, anyway, done now. Over. And now as well, I was taking my makeup off in this room that has no mirror. Not even a dressing room, just, just, a, just a room. I realised I am getting a fucking cold sore. Fuck. And it's too late to go to the chemist now and get that little tablet that stops you from getting it. Anyway. A nice, lovely, bright early morning. Because I'm having my mirrors well hung today by Jim Will Fix It. Very exciting. Mm, 7.30 is the only time we could do so. I'm going into work early. Anyway, anyway never mind. Just doing a bit of late night Netflixing. Um, and I'm watching Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Tells No Tales. And um, I worked on that scene. On the Gold Coast at the Movie Worlds. Um, yes, I did the, uh, some wonderful hair for um, for 18th century, upper class, 19th, oh, 18th century, 19th century, anyway, whatever it was. Upper class um, um, colonial hairs. But don't get too excited. <clears throat> Just extras, babes. Do you want to do best use? Baby? Yeah? No? Okay. A bit of sleep. Mm. Well, officially one down. Nice little wig here for the lovely drag legend. Oh, look here. Trudy Valentine. Mm -hmm. Another glorious wig done. Yes. And this one, she is lovely. That's a maxi, can you believe it? This one's a maxi too. God, they're such great wigs to do. They're just like, so much hair in them, so versatile, considering they um, are a bob. Another one. Yes, getting through them. And another one bites the dust. And another one down. Another one down. That's a nice one. This is cherry cola. First time I've styled one of these. It's lovely. <laughs> I even put up my sign today. Look. Oh, yes. Welcome. Another one finished. Ooh, oh, she's so glamorous. Yes. And took ages. Now, this is why my places always get so dusty. Look, that's hairspray. Gross. Get that vacuum cleaner out. Fuck. Imagine what it's doing to my lungs. <laughs> but that's all right. I think hairspray is the least toxic thing that I'll put in my lungs in my lifetime. <laughs>